Midjourney is an artificial intelligence art tool. In this video, I want to show you a quick way of creating an in-game book of Midjourney art, although this process will work for any images. Such a book could form the UI of an interactive fiction, an in-game manual, a storybook for the player to read, and more. Since I grew up playing choose-your-own-adventure books while on canal boats with my family, I love the idea of having a digital choose-your-own-adventure book with pages that turn as you make your choices. The first phase of such a project will be to get mid-journey images into a digital book. Endless book asset. Wherever I can, I like to use assets from the asset store to make prototyping as fast as possible. I much prefer simple assets that do one thing and do it well. So for this prototype, I decided to use endless book. This is a pretty simple asset and could be coded fairly easily, but I'm lazy. So I bought it. Setting up Endless Book is really simple. Import the asset, create your scene, position the camera, create the pages, click play. However, I like things to be as simple as possible. And in this process, there is one repetitive task that I felt was ideal for automation, the creation of pages. Since the images on my pages would be generated by Midjourney, I wanted to be able to simply drop the images into the project and have the book automatically import them. This required me to write a simple script that would implement the following steps. One, create the endless book object. Two, load all image resources from the designated folder. Three, generate materials from each of them. Four, create a page for the book and assign the page material. Five, insert the page into the book at the right page number. Six, Set the initial page number to 1 and close the book ready for the application. This worked reasonably well. However, it meant the order in which the pages were displayed was not controllable. As a result, there was no flow in the content. Interior images were interspersed with exterior, exterior with characters, and so on. Categorizing pages. To resolve this, I created a simple scriptable object called world object that captured basic information about the image. This allowed me to categorize images in a number of ways, for example, by their type, such as interior, exterior, character and item, or by race, such as orc, dark elf and human. I was then able to update the book creation script to grab all world objects in the project and add pages grouped by race and then by type. This means that the images can be displayed in meaningful sections. In future iterations, I will be able to use this data to add section headers and page titles. Creating pages. Now that I could easily add categorized pages to the book, it was time to get to work creating images. I'm not going to cover how to create mid-journey images here. I have other videos on that topic. The focus here is on getting images created with mid-journey or anything else into the book. Initially, I did this manually creating the images in mid-journey, saving them into my Unity project folder, and then generating a world object to represent them. This wasn't too onerous, but generally, when I have to do something repeatedly, I like to automate it as much as possible. Automating the creation of world objects. Since all my images were in a single resource folder, I was able to write a script that would find images that were not currently associated with an existing world object and automatically create one. This was as simple as getting all the existing world objects and images, iterating over the images found and checking to see if an existing world object had a reference to it. For each new image, we created a world object for it. Naturally, this automated creation of world objects didn't create appropriate names, but it would at least ensure that the images appeared in the book next time I ran the application. I created a TBD value for the race and type values, which would push the items to the back of the book. It also allows me to treat them differently when it comes to title page generation. And finally, it ensures that I can find them easily when performing a data cleanup pass. Conclusion. In this video, we created a digital art book using the Endless Book Unity asset. The images in this art book were generated by Midjourney, but they could have come from any source. Moving forwards, I'll explore creating a story within this book. 